So first of all, I'd like to apologize for the lack of videos lately. I've been recovering from surgery, and to be honest, I'm still not feeling very good. But my favorite show of all time, Neon Genesis Aving Galvion is getting a worldwide release on Netflix, and I could not help but talk about it. So today, we are going to briefly talk about the good and the bad of Neon Genesis Aving Galvion coming to Netflix. Why don't we start off with the good news? The good news is that this is a worldwide release of the show, meaning anybody that had Netflix anywhere in the world will now legally be able to watch Evangelion. As any fan of the series will tell you, watching Evangelion is not easy and the series has been in licensing hell for years now. And by looking at the trailer Netflix released, it looks like we're getting the HD version, which is something many fans outside of Japan have not had the pleasure of watching. The show being released on Netflix means an entire generation of people that don't even really know much about the show are finally going to be able to watch it very conveniently. Netflix also got their hands on Death and Rebirth and End of Evangelion, meaning the fans who watch it via Netflix won't have to pirate anything. They'll be able to get the full Neon Genesis Evangelion experience without any difficulty. This is really good news, and when I first heard about Evangelion coming to Netflix, I didn't think anything about the situation could disappoint me. However, it was then revealed on Twitter by Amanda Wynn Lee, the voice actress of Rei Ayanami and the director and producer of Death and Rebirth and End of Evangelion, that Netflix is planning to redub Evangelion. This is pretty upsetting news for a lot of reasons. One Evangelion dub for a 90s dub is really good, it's really top notch, and unlike something like Dragon Ball Z, it's very clear if you look back at comments made by the cast that they really cared about staying as close to the source material as possible and trying to convey the story of Neon Genesis Evangelion to the audience. For a 90s dub, it's phenomenal. It's by no means perfect, it's still a 90s dub, and it still could have been better in some areas, but it's a really damn good dub. And personally, when watching something as complex and character-driven as Neon Genesis Evangelion, I do prefer to listen to it in my own language. So when I watched Ava, I did watch it in the dub, and whenever I think of Shinji, Rei, and Asuka, I think of people like Spike Spencer and Tiffany Grant. Those are the people I'm used to hearing voice them, and that is the version I would prefer to watch if possible. And I think it would be really sad if Netflix went with an entirely new cast, especially considering the stink the actors have been making on social media. Spike Spencer, Amanda Lee, and Tiffany Grant have all come out and spoken about the situation and it is very clear that they would all be willing to reply to their roles if Netflix was to redub it. These characters mean something to them, and this series means something to them, and they worked really hard on those movies and that original dub, and I personally think they have a right to come back and be involved in this project. The Neon Genesis Evangelion dub is also a big part of this history, and it would be a shame if we lost that in the Netflix world. One of the most famous things about Evangelion is the famous rant by Shinji voice actor Spike Spencer at the end of the series during the ending. While I have no problem with a redub in and of itself, I do have a problem with them replacing the cast. There are a lot of people in the fandom that do like the dub and would like to watch it on the go, and this could really hurt this worldwide release if they don't use the original actor. So I'm going to be linking links down below in the description box to Spike Spencer's Twitter and Facebook, Tiffany Grant's Facebook, and of course Amanda Lee's Twitter and Facebook where they are all campaigning to try to get Netflix to either keep the original dub or get the cast back together to do a full redub. An Evangelion the Kai, if you will. So I implore you to go and support all of them 
Because you know what? Even if you don't like Evangelion stuff, you don't need to watch it. You can still watch it in Japanese and support the idea of Netflix using the original dub. There's no reason why we, you can't have both. And this whole thing about redubbing it and maybe even using a different cast is the big disappointment with it for me because I think Netflix could handle it better. And I'm really hoping we are all able to convince Netflix to go with the original cast. Because the cast deserves it, and you know what? There are a lot of fans like myself who like the dub. But that doesn't mean I'm not excited. I am very excited to see Evangelion really have a resurgence and see a ton of people who haven't watched it finally getting the chance to watch it and also getting to talk about it with people as if it's a new mainstream thing. I know a lot of people who are just saying that once it comes out on Netflix they're finally going to sit down and watch it. I have a couple friends that are going to be doing that and I really can't wait to talk about Evangelion with them as they experience it for the first time, because Evangelion is a very unique experience. And I love talking about Evangelion, it's my favorite show of all time, and I am happy, regardless of the situation with the dub, I am happy that Ava is getting this exposure from Netflix. But I think that's a good place to end this video, that's really all we know at the moment. Go support the voice actors with their social media, they're all linked in the description box down below. Also, if you have anything you'd like me to talk about that is Ava related, like any Ava video topic you want me to do, tell me in the comments and I'll try to get to those. I do have a, a retake video planned, I heard there's a sequel to the retake doujinji I reviewed back in the summer. So I'm going to try to read that at some point in the next couple of weeks. And yeah, I'll eventually have the review out of that. Leave your Ava topics in the comment section down below. Above all else, guys, have a great day. This is Nerd King 101 signing out.